wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. 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 Hello and welcome to Mark and Kelly's trips, tips and things. So today we are in Soho and we are going to Japes. Really looking forward to this, we're really hungry. But before we go, please like, share and subscribe. It helps us make more videos and we love making videos for you as well. And don't forget to join us on our live every Tuesday and every Friday, 6 p.m. UK time. Anyway, without further ado, let's get going. So we've been here before, but I'm just gonna go through the menu very quickly. So you've got the deep dish pizza and you can have the golden Parmesan crust for an extra three pounds or 2.95. They've also got these which are new, which are the London style pizza. There's the QR code right there, if you wanna have a little look. Uh, and they've got some nice little stuff. I'm not sure what they mean by London style, but we will ask, but it's born in our very own Soho kitchen. Ah, that's what it means. There we go. So they've actually made them themselves. There's the prices, there's the list. We are gonna order right now. Okay, so we just came up, but we asked what the London style was. And the London style is between sort of like fair style and Italian. So it's just the thickness of the base, basically. So it's just, it's not as deep as the Chicago um, one. What's Chicago, right? Yeah, so Chicago that's style. the deep pan, I'm like, which is I love. It's, it looks small, but it's very deceiving. That is filling. Yeah. You'll see it when it comes out. And he said to me, I said, I didn't know which one to go for. Like, um, so I went for the big Canteen. Um, what did you go for? I went for the Mediterranean. Okay, so Mark's gone for the Mediterranean, I've gone for the Canteen. We also ordered goat and fig cheese. Um, Starter. Um, like a, it's like a mozzarella, it's like a, what, like a garlic bread? Well, I don't know if it is. I think mine's just a fig and goat cheese. We'll see when it comes out, yeah. And I um, ordered a Nedua uh, starter, which is Nedua mozzarella. So um, it's, it's like a garlic bread, I believe, but we'll see when it comes. Um, yeah, so I'm re I am really hungry and I'm so excited uh, to try this food. It's been a while. I'm going to link in the description below when we came here the last time to see if there's any changes. I didn't get any fries this time. I may, I, I'll think about it uh, during the meal, but I saw that um, Nedua and mozzarella and I just thought, ooh, I really want to try that. So I'm so excited. cheese and fig and I was thinking it was going to be like a garlic bread. No, I'm pretty confident this was going to be a uh, goat's cheese and fig and nothing else. This is like a mini pizza. It is, so go on, you tuck in. Take a look at that. Yeah. 
the creaminess of the cheese it's not dry or anything it's really tasty really flavorful you can see there's some seasoning right here yeah I can see the little black dots yeah I'm gonna try a little bit of the crust it's a little bit crispy, a little bit bready inside, perfect. I'm not really a crust person, so I know I'm not going to really eat crust. But if you are a crust person, this is definitely for you. Okay, what was nice is they did give us crepes to share, but Kenny doesn't like goat's cheese at all, so I'm I'm thinking I'm going to be doing this on my own. Right, okay, here we go. Here we go. That is melted, like you wouldn't believe. So I'm going for fig and goat's cheese. Those figs are so sweet. You can really cut the with the goat's cheese. Wow. Really good. The goat's cheese itself, you can see it's very soft. It's slightly crisped on the top where they heat it in here. Mm -hmm. mm. Really good, but it really goes well with the fig. If you yeah. have that with the fig, that's delicious. Yeah. That's amazing. Now you can see how thick that is. I thought you were going to order the London one, but you didn't, did you? Now the no. London one was thin. It's thinner. It's in between an Italian and a Chicago. That's how um, he explained it. The unfortunate thing for me is I didn't read the menu properly, and it comes with Parmesan cheese, and I really don't like Parmesan. And I really don't like the smell. But I'm hoping that it's not going to be too bad. I think the last time when I had it, I think I asked for it without Parmesan, and because I was so excited and I was so hungry, I was just like, yeah, 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 look, I'll have the candy. So I'm going to try it. And let's see. Wow, 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 wow. You could just see, look at that. Look how deep that is. There's so much filling in there. There's a lot of tomato, so I'm looking forward to trying this. Mm. Right, off you go. Grab a little bit. So you, can you, get this, uh, you know what it's like? It's like a whole, um, what you call it? Um, it's a meal in itself, isn't it? Yeah, you know like uh, when you get um, spaghetti bolognese? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I don't... Right, this might take us a while. Yeah, because I don't think I'll be able to get it without dropping it on me. <laughs> Look at that cheese ball. No, no matter how many times Kelly's turning this and twisting it, Look at that, that is awesome. It's almost like a little carriage of cheese, okay. Now all I've got is one, is one um, uh, pepperoni and um, a whole load of cheese. cheese. After all that twisting into William. Yeah, I think that. It's good, but I didn't really get anything. It's just cheese and... Well, Go for another thing. Wow. It's so difficult. <laughs> there you go, oh my word. Look at that. Now, I love the fact you've got the cheese pour on there. Yeah. 
but he's, he's trying to keep stuff on the actual fork. So folks, you might be here a little while, we're yeah. just going to wrap it in. It's almost like you're tying it together to the fork with the yeah. cheese. Yeah, here we go. If you like pizza, this is definitely good. It's supposed to come. Obviously. So, what do you think of the flavour? Could you tell, taste the parmesan? No, but the parmesan is more over here. Oh, right, so you can just dig away from that area. Yeah. There's plenty of tomatoes in there. I mean, look at all the fillings you get. And what I do like about Japes is the fact that you get so much of the filling. You know, it's full of uh, cheese and tomato, and it's it really, very generous. Yeah, it really is like, I was I'd be eating spaghetti bolognese. On a pizza? Uh, on a pizza. I mean, that just sounds amazing. You can taste the parmesan. I don't really like it really overpowers something. It overpowers it just like me. But if you love parmesan, this is definitely definitely for you. It doesn't take away from the flavour too too much, but I can taste it. Right, here we go with mine then. You can see in here, can you just have a look? It's almost, it's so many juices and stuff. It's almost like a soup. Can you see that? You can see all the filling in yeah. there. Yeah, right, okay, here we go. So I'm gonna try to open the floodgates. <laughs> I'm trying a different approach. Oh, look okay. at that, look at the cheese in there. Look, you're winding it round as well. I'm winding it round, but I'm gonna try and get the filling on top. That's a lot. I had goat's cheese in the starter. <laughs> with goat's cheese in here, but it's really good. You've got peppers in there, tomatoes in there, olives in there, you can, onions in there. You can tell it's good when Mark's got a string of cheese just dripping from his mouth. I'll see that later. <laughs> The combo in this is delicious. Very, very generous uh, with the fillings. Yeah, well. for sure. Really generous with the fillings. Those flavors are delicious. It's more than just a pizza. It's more than just a pizza. It is. Uh, it's, it's a meal on top of bread almost. It's so so good. That's some of the best pizzas I've had. Really. Mm. You know you get some pizzas where it's just like a, a tiny little bit on top of the actual yeah, bread itself. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is the complete opposite. This has got a yeah. huge, generous portion of filling. That is so good. mozzarella bread, Mark had the uh, goat's cheese and the fig, so I asked for a box. Very nicely they gave us a box here, but there's still quite a bit left. Yeah, there is, um, I'm just so full, but also um, there was um, a lot of parmesan and I didn't read it, it was completely my own fault. 
Um, and I would have said, oh, no Parmesan. It's because it's quite strong for me. Like, you know, being strong cheeses. If you watch our lives, you'll know. Um, and so, but it was still majorly enjoyable. And the staff here are so nice and they offer to take it off and stuff like that. Um, but, but I just thought, no, do you know what? It's my own fault. Let me just try and deal with it. So I did manage to pick some of it off. Um, and then it was a lot more palatable. I mean, it's a brilliant pizza anyway. And the staff here are so nice. They're, they've been nothing but nice. So um, I'm going to enjoy this when I get home. Probably today or tomorrow, I'll see. Right, now we are full, but if you do want dessert, they do do it here. They do a soft serve ice cream with the flavors. You can see there's salted caramel, crunchy biscoff, red berry, and Jaffa, uh, Jaffa cake. That's them there, look. That's what they look like with the sauces. If you fancy a dessert here at James. Right guys, we are back and we're gonna do our final review. So, what did you think of Japes? I liked it. I did too, actually, I, I've gotta say. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Um, yeah, it, 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 the, I, I like the atmosphere. It was pretty quiet, mm. but that's understandable because we were going on a, so it's a Thursday today. Yeah. Had to think about that. Um, it's Thursday and there were, there was just a table beside us mm -hmm. uh, uh, of, what about six? Yeah, about six, six guys, and yes. then there was a couple behind. Behind us. us, yeah, and there might have been one other person, and then that was it, and it was us. I mean, it's a relatively big place as well. I don't know if there's an upstairs, but I know that there's toilets upstairs, but I don't know if there's like another no. level to eat. But they did ask us, did we, did we want to eat inside or outside, and we opted inside. The thing is, because it's on a road. Um, I, in my mind, I didn't want to sit outside, but it was a lovely day, perfect day mm. to sit outside. It was so nice. Yeah, but I just felt with the cars going up and down and you're trying to eat and um, it's not for me, but um, that's why we opted to stay inside. But they sat us in the exact same spot. So if you watch our other video, well, yeah, we, you said yeah. we were in, we were in the same spot. Now, I couldn't yeah. remember that. I thought we were in the middle, but anyway. Right, let's talk about the food. So you had the Nedra sausage, uh, what I would garlic say bread, garlic mozzarella. bread mozzarella. What yeah. was that like? I enjoyed it. I liked the saltiness of the sausage and the sort of like cheese. I felt it was a bit too much crust for me. Oh, see now, to be honest. I love that. I think their pizza bases are amazing, really good. Now I know like I said with the garlic bread, you can see all most of the filling was in the middle and then yeah, you had yeah, that yeah, big yeah. thick crust on the outside. Um, so would you get that again? Yes, I would. Well that was the thing, I mean, how was the flavour of the sausage? Was it nice? Is it spicy? Yeah, well, it, it wasn't spicy enough. Oh, right, so you wanted it a bit more spicy? Yeah, the, it, unless, for me, spicy, uh, enough spice is when my nose starts to water and then I think, oh yeah, um, you know, some, but, but any more spicier than that, you can't taste your food. There's a fine line of spiciness. And I like spiciness enough that I can still taste my food. But I just did. And he did. the guy did say to me, oh, it's, it's spicy. And I was like, yeah, sure, no problem. But it wasn't spicy enough. It might be spicy for other people, but just not enough well, for me. That's what I was going to say. So if someone's palate wasn't for the spicy side, you would recommend that? It depends on your spice palate. Now, for me, it wasn't that spicy. Um, in fact, I forgot that it was spicy. Well, there you go. Then. So yeah. If you haven't got that uh, spice palette, I think that's for you. Now, the goat's cheese one you'll see from mine and the fig, that was delicious. They also, what I didn't notice, I only noticed it after we filmed and I got to the end, they have balsamic vinegar on there. Because I said to you, is, that, is there balsamic vinegar But there on was it? also a syrup on there. And I didn't notice it to the very end. So as I got to the end there as well, I thought, figs aren't normally this sweet. This was a really delicious sweet fig. And then I thought, there's a syrup there. And I just tried the syrup. And I thought, yeah, that's a syrup on it. Yeah, but it's probably the... Because you know you can get thicker balsamic vinegar, which is sweeter. Oh, maybe it was that. Yeah, that's that's the, the syrup balsamic vinegar. Now, we yeah. thought, Kelly was thinking as well, that this would actually come on a flatbread as well. So basically, you would have the figs on a flatbread. But it's not. It literally is just slightly slices of fig with a I'd say almost like a whole pummet of uh, uh, it was just like a slice a slice uh, of goat's a, a cheese thicker, on it. a thicker slice of goat's cheese yeah. but I was expecting it to come almost like a garlic bread 
No, like, I mixed, wasn't. That, that's what I was expecting. No, I wasn't. So I was quite surprised. When I read it, it didn't say bread in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that yeah, was yeah. what I was thinking as well. It was also, I think, I don't think it was toasted, or I don't think it was baked. I think it was grilled, because the top was mm. all melted, but the, right. the underneath wasn't. So I think, it, rather than it being baked, I think it was grilled. Yeah. But I yeah. would definitely get that again. If you're, now, goat's cheese is in a very acquired taste. So if you don't like it, the dish is predominantly goat's cheese. Yeah, because the thing is with me and goat's cheese... You're not friends, are you? No, it, the, uh, that's the thing, because it, it's got quite a unique taste. Well, as most cheeses do. Most cheeses mm. have a unique taste. But this one, I don't know. It just, it just doesn't. Well, if yeah. you don't like it, you don't like yeah, it. I mean, yeah. but it is the predominant part of that dish. Yeah. If you don't like goat cheese, do not go for that one. But if you like goat cheese, I would it's recommend it. It's for you, it. yeah. That sweetness that and that uh, that uh, sauce underneath, uh, which is very subtle. Going in with that goat cheese was delicious. I really enjoyed that one. Mm. Um, and which, off talking of goat's cheese, leads us nicely on to the mains. Now, I got the Mediterranean one. Now, as you saw, both of us went for the deep pan. But they have what they call the London base. Now, talk a bit about the London base. Yeah, L London do... style, London wasn't it? Style, London sorry. style, yeah. So, there, there's the Chicago style, and then there's the London style. Um, and so, we were asking him, well, what's the difference? And they basically came up with the concept in-house. So what it is, it's a thinner base. It's in between an Italian and um, the Chicago style. So it, it's a thinner base, but it's not thin and crispy. It's just basically in between. Um, now thinking about it, I I probably should have gone for that. Really? Now, are you saying that? No, you'll notice Kelly said she she accidentally ordered the uh, the one with Parmesan on. Now, are you saying that because it had Parmesan on? No, I would have still ordered the same one. Right. I still wouldn't have. I still wouldn't have. With I'll, the Parmesan yeah. on. Yeah. So basically, I ordered the picante, um, and I didn't read it all the way. I just thought, oh yeah, Nedua sausage and pepperoni. Yeah, this is the one, and it said Parmesan on it, and I. Do not like parmesan cheese at all and um, when it came i was just like oh there's parmesan but anyway i'll come on to that um no what i'm the reason why i'm saying maybe i should have ordered the london style because that would still come with parmesan is the, the exact same price well stuff. you did leave quite a lot of yours so is it too much is that why no 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 i because what i'm saying is is because there was so much crust ah, whereas the okay. other one like you were saying would have been a slightly thinner mm. and that probably I wouldn't have wasted so much, probably, as in, as in, from from the, um, you know, from the the Nedua garlic bread. Yeah, yeah. I left quite a lot of the crust. Yeah, but yeah. But in my yeah. mind, the reason why I also left a lot of the crust is because I knew a pizza was coming. Yeah, exactly. So you didn't want to fill so up. So I didn't want to be for, and I will, and I was hungry. I wasn't ravenous, but when we sat down and I it, and I clocked, I was time to eat. Because we hadn't eaten all day, and it yeah. was, what was it, like four o'clock? About, about three, four o'clock, yeah. Yeah, it was like three, four o'clock time, and um, we hadn't eaten. And so I just thought, oh, so when I sat down, I going, oh, I'm actually quite hungry, and mm -hmm. I was getting excited, thinking, oh. And then um, in my mind, when, when it came, I just thought, oh, stupidly, what I should have done was just stuck to the mozzarella, so then Mark could have had some, and then I wouldn't have eaten as much as I did with regards to the... Well, that's the yeah. thing. So I was going to say, because the Chicago ones, they are deceptive. They come across, and you'll see them, and they look quite small, but they're so deceptive. If you look at those fillings, now let's, if I don't mind, I'm going to talk about no, my no, one no, go on, go on. So this one was really thick. You could actually almost see the liquids in the middle. It was so thick. It was, do you know what? I think I said to you as well, this is happiness. This, that made me happy because it was so many delicious fillings. Now, yes, it had goat's cheese, so I had goat's cheese twice twice but i've got to say that combo of the peppers the tomatoes the goat's cheese the onions and what was nice is you, i've had pizzas before mm. and where they have obviously you've got the thin thinner base but then you've got such not what's the word uh very tight toppings so they right. give you hardly any toppings at all just enough to give it a little bit of flavor 
but this really it was all like i think the way kelly described it was great it was almost like having a bolognese or that type of thing yeah. on top it was a meal on top of a pizza dough yeah. and for me that's delicious I will go as far to say as that is one of my favourite pizzas that mm. I've had. And it's because of that thing, uh, because of the crust. The, the, the crust itself was delicious. The bread was fresh. But those toppings, I cannot overestimate how beautiful, delicious they were. I really, really enjoyed that pizza. Mm. Now, let's talk about yours because I know... Now, okay, let's imagine, or if you can, that there was no Parmesan on yours. Talk about yours. Um, I would, don't get me wrong, I would have enjoyed it more yeah. if there was no Parmesan on it. Um, I enjoyed it, I liked it, it, it wasn't a problem, but I think I would have enjoyed it more, I would have enjoyed it more if I had um, uh, Nedua sausage and um, uh, pepperoni on it, just that. Well, I think next time you say, because you would order probably a different one and then add Nedua to it. Do you know what? I would have liked to double pepperoni and then added Nedua to it. Yeah, That's good. what I would have oh, okay. liked. So for me, but I went for the picante and in my mind, I was expecting it to be spicy. Yeah, yeah. And like don't get me wrong the pizza's delicious it was it was really good but there was a for me there was a couple of things that let it let it down it wasn't spicy enough for sure it was not spicy enough and there wasn't enough pepperonis on it for me and it was like there was a bolognese like in the pizza now that's good i know you liked mm. that and it, it was it was nice you know i liked the cheese pull and all of that oh that was great fun that cheese pull i oh, i love it. that was the happiness as well it was the theater of it just pulling it as well i'm just thinking of it now my mouth's drooling thinking of it <laughs> i really and now the thing is i was going to sorry just going to say because down the road your mark's excited now now this is how much i like now down the road is pizza pilgrims now i like pizza pilgrims but that was an example of what i mean the the toppings weren't just, i had the open from memory the aubergine ones yeah and there were one or two aubergines on it and it was nice but i've got to say that japes one was fantastic i really did enjoy it i think we were having a discussion about which one i liked more yeah and i think i i'll have to go back and and have it again but I believe it would be pil Pizza Pilgrims for me. Would you not have said Japes had you gone for the thinner one, the London base? No, I think I would have said Japes if I'd had the toppings that I wanted. Yeah, and I think that's the thing. I think I you think, ordered the wrong pizza. Yeah, I think. Well, I ordered what was on the list. No, you didn't. Yeah, but it did. The, on the list did say Parmesan. Yeah, but what was there? Pepperoni pizza. I can't remember. Right. Well, because I'm not looking at the No, no, no. Ones. What I'm saying is I ordered what I thought was best for me on right, that list. Right, 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 right. Okay. Do you see what I'm saying? Whereas with um, uh, Pizza Pilgrims, the pizza that I wanted was on that list. Yeah. Whereas here, I, I ordered what I thought would best would match my taste rather than them having actually... Because the toppings are two pounds. Well, actually, for, for memory, I'm pretty sure Pico Pilgrims, Pizza Pilgrims is about three. Now, I some of them were about three, to be fair. So, if you look at the list... I'll, some I'll of add probably, it to the link yeah, below. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll add it. Or you might see it in that corner uh, where I'll add the um, the link to Pizza Pilgrims. But, yeah, I was going to say, actually, but for me, that was delicious. So, that combo that I had, the figs... Because uh, Kelly did ask me, would I have gone for garlic bread next time? That is double bread. Mm. So, I, that's, I like the fact that it was something different. It's a yeah. lot of cheese, though. The, there's a lot of goat's cheese. If you don't like that, you can change it. Mm. Now, drinks, we just had water to go with ours as well. And we didn't do dessert, which, again, we didn't do in Pizza Pilgrims either. Yeah. Um, so, we decided not to do that. The To be fair, the... The pizza itself, if you go for the deep pan one, that is enough. It will fill you. And it's very deceptive. When I first ordered that, the first time we went years ago, I thought, is that it? Is that all? This small. But when I started, I thought, oh my God, this is really filling. But we also got double. We also, but the last time, we got two starters. Or did we get one starter? And we're speculating that. Yeah. I'll we may have got other. Again, the, yeah. again I'll, I'll put the link in the description. But the last time when we went, we also got chips. Yeah, that's uh, true. Fry, should I say. Um, and I can't remember if we got one or two starters. I can't quite remember. But then we, I think you got a bottle of water and I got like a Coke or something. Yeah, like, yeah. Or like a Diet Coke or whatever. Um, and I believe it was a similar price 
that we paid today. Yeah, I think that's about as right. We, as we paid the last time, and we, I, I, I want to say that we went in 2021 or 2022. That sounds 2020, about right. So I, it does sound about right. Um, so the grand question: Would you go again? Oh yeah, for sure. I would Definitely. go back to to Japes. This time, I'll concentrate a bit more. Order the right one. Uh, I, well, go. it's not that I didn't order the right one. They didn't have the one that I wanted to order. Now you can customize as yes. you saw. You can add uh, additional ones as you wish, additional toppings if you wish. But as Kelly rightly points out, they are quite pricey. So if you have three or four toppings, that's going to really rack up the price. They're about fifteen quid plus anyway. So just bear that in mind. And I don't think if I say, oh, can you take off this topping, this topping, this topping, this topping, and then I want this topping, I don't think they're going to, I think they're going to just take off the toppings. It's not going to cost anything, but then adding toppings on, I think would. Yeah. So Does that make sense? bear that in mind. Yeah. Anyway, that's our review of Japes. I hope you found it interesting. As always, please like, share and subscribe. It helps us uh, make more videos. And as you know, we do love making videos for you guys. And as I say, before, don't forget you can join us on our lives every Tuesday and every Friday at 6 p.m. UK time where you can talk about anything you like, including the video seen today. And also, if you do like, you know, food reviews, holidays, trips, tips and things, and you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. There you go. Anyway, that's it for Mark and Kelly's trips, tips and things. Uh, see you in the next video. And don't forget, you are never told to have fun. Bye for now. Bye for now.